Hey everybody, so I'm back today just doing a little bit of a review on a new piece of equipment that I had gotten. Um, some of you may remember that I, I've recently done an airbrushing after three years um, video where I just talked a little bit about my experiences after three years. There were a lot of good comments and dialogue in the comments section on that video. One of them was by um, Derek Kinsman and he had just made some observations and recommendations and um, one of them I thought was quite good because I talked a lot about how I had I have a utility airbrush in my Posh airbrush dual action with the gravity feed cup that I use for everything and I use it a lot like for um, uh, I guess for priming, um, definitely base coating, but then more importantly also for varnishing um, as far as just utility stuff. And um, you know, the more you use your airbrush, the more you have to clean it, the more wear and tear is on your airbrush. And one of the recommendations he made is to get um, an, a needleless, cheap hobby airbrush that you can use just for things like priming and varnishing instead of your main airbrush. I kind of went um, with that recommendation, but I, I must confess I went sort of halfway on that recommendation. I looked for a cheap um, hobby airbrush like in model shops. Now, um, although I saw that some of them were online, um, these needleless ones that he was talking about, I couldn't really find one in stock locally um, the, to the couple of places I went to. Even ones that had like Hobbyco and some of the other ones I believe that make these brushes, they didn't have them in stock. And I didn't really want to send away for one and pay for any shipping on something that like that was that cheap. And when I was doing my sort of meandering through, um, I kind of went halfway in the recommendation in the sense that I didn't go with needleless per se, but I went back to my tried and true brand, which I, I talked up a lot. Um, posh, because I really like Posh as far as airbrushing. Um, as far as a real workhorse company, really good heavy duty uh, product that I just like. And my my compressor is a Posh. I have a Posh Talon, and now I've went and bought this external mix airbrush um, by Posh. And this is a kit. Um, this is a very generic box. On the side it actually says dual action gravity feed in one spot, which this is not, so I know they're using a very generic um, box, but it is sort of what is inside here is what you get. Now I have already spent some time, This was it's been over a month since I've purchased this and I've used it a bit. Um, because I already have a Posh airbrush, this is just a spare coil for me because um, I just have a spare because I already have a Posh airbrush and it already connects with the one I have. This cup I purchased separately, even though there's a spot in here, the particular kit package did not come with this. But this is something that I absolutely need just because um, I can use just less paint. Um, and uh, like I've already tried this with a project that I was doing and it worked just fine, but it uses a lot more um, when you fill up the bottom of this. And so um, I needed to get this, this brush here. Now this is what I believe is called a Posh H. I think there's a couple of different models, but it's an external mix. So the paint is being held on the outside and it's basically coming up through here and it's avoiding this area of the trigger action altogether. Um, that's great because um, any sort of paint you may, you may get creeping up back this way on your your dual action gravity feed cup ones that I've shown before, you, you completely um, negate that. And so I have already taken this apart and cleaned it. Um, um, so just to give you an idea if you haven't used one of these before, like I kind of skipped this type of brush altogether, which is a bit more of a traditional hobby airbrush than the, the dual action cups, which are more popular in our hobby. But really, like you just basically are sitting, putting this in here and you just put your paint in there instead of having it up top and it sucks it up through the bottom. And then also, you can use th this as well and you can use it, you know, with the, with like just like that and it basically sucks it through there. Now, in order to clean it, I'm not going to take it apart in this video. Um, you use basically this little Allen wrench thing here and when you open it and loosen it you're able to pull back on this and this is your your needle which is right here. There's a certain level of adjustment you can get for your spray pattern here even though this is single action which this only controls your air in a single action it's either on or off. Um, rather than um, controlling your air and at the same time controlling your paint flow 
you can, um, it's on or off with the air, and then before you're working, you, you know, you can adjust this a little bit for your pain flow, but it's not nearly as precise, in my experience, as the other. So, what I'm using this for is really like a spray can. Like, you're basically using this, um, to, you know, you're, you're, you're leveraging your airbrush setup that you've maybe have already purchased, um, to be able to also, um, prime and base coat with something that's a bit more easier to keep clean. Um, now this part here, I noticed just, it's just a piece of plastic and it completely screws off very easily. And what you've got there is just a hunk of metal now that you could take apart or, you know, just throw into a container of cleaner or varnish or something. And so you don't have to worry about ruining this piece here. So, um, I'm actually quite happy with this so far, and what I'm going to do today is just quickly show you guys just um, me um, airbrushing a little bit with it. Just I'm basically just going to prime um, a few um, of my Anglo Danes for Saga. Be right back. So I, I feel like I'm getting really good coverage on this. Um, I think it goes through really well. Now this is just, um, I didn't actually show what I used, but I used Vallejo Surface Primer, um, um, polyurethane surface primer, and just straight right out of the bottle. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's going really well. I did have a little bit of tip dry after doing that first one, which does happen at times. Um, but it just took a little bit of a just a t um, paper towel just to rub against the tip of the, the airbrush just to take that off. And so this first guy is done. And now I'm just going to just do the other three real quick, and I'll just um, show this a little bit in fast motion, and then show what it looks like when I'm done. So 
I had finished priming not only the four guys that um, I showed, but also my Warlord um, and then four other Hearthguard um, that do not have the Dane Axes. And um, yeah, like I think it actually came out really good. I did actually have a, a little bit of tip dry. You may have noticed that my hands kind of came out for a bit where I was just wiping off the tip. Um, it turns out that um, this this surface primer which I use, I really quite like this brand, but what I usually use more is um, the gray um, knot, which is just... I've went through several bottles of this in the last couple of years. Um, I decided to use the black recently and I've noticed it's thickened a bit. Um, just it's probably been three years or more since I've actually purchased this and so um, because of that it you know I ended up I believe I ended up getting a bit more tip dry and uh, it was just a little bit more difficult to work with than usual um, but yeah like I think it actually covered pretty well um, I don't usually worry about it, little spots on the um, the base um, which I'm going to be covering anyway um, with several things and I don't usually worry about that I'm most concerned just about the miniature and so um, so yeah um, Got some nice coverage. I'm really happy with the, this has, having this style of airbrush, you know, for, for doing varnishes and priming and things. And so yeah, I thought I'd just um, show that little purchase and how it works. Okay, talk to you guys later.